Well, Braxton has been uh, officially diagnosed with one of the rarest forms of Rett syndrome. It's actually defined as atypical Rett syndrome. It's so rare. And he is only the sixth person in the world that has this mutation. Good job, buddy. They're still learning a whole lot about it, only because um, nobody's really survived this long. Most infants die before 14 months of age. So the needs of children with Braxton's condition are truly undefined. This year, we found out about this activity chair, which is really designed for children in schools. Until we had the chair, he's never been able to sit at the table that you see like he is now, only because a wheelchair doesn't rise uh, like this does. So this activity chair has really given him uh, the ability to interact with his sisters. Braxton's pretty uncoordinated and he's very, very uh, limp and fragile actually. Uh, but when he has a lot of support given to him by therapy devices, you can see that he can really animate and move um, much more in a purposeful fashion. Since there aren't a whole lot of children that um, exist with his condition, the insurance companies often deny any kind of request. Something like this, um, insurance won't pay for because they don't see it as uh, a medically necessary um, device. Um, although this is probably one of the most important things that he can have right now. Yeah. Braxton actually was able to crawl and hold his head up and everything up until four months of age, which is when the uh, regression of skills usually starts with children with uh, uh, this type of uh, condition. Um, and then as, uh, as his essential skills deteriorate, he, he actually he lost the ability to eat and to um, hold his head up and look. and have coordinated motor skills. Whenever we can find a new device that helps him interact more or he finds stimulating, um, it's really exciting for us and to see him get so excited because um, it's very difficult for him to essentially do anything without being uh, totally assisted. Yeah, are you ready? My family and I would just really like to thank the Benevolent Association. Um, they've been extremely helpful um, to our family. You know, Braxton is uh, so special to us and we want to give him the world and we can't. Um, but the Benevolent Association allows us to just give him a, a little bit closer to what we would love to have for him. We're just so grateful to have this chair so that Braxton can participate in dinner and in playtime and we can sit him up and watch movies and we can kind of wheel him around the house. This has helped us 100% in taking care of Braxton and having him be part of the family. You want to give Daddy a high five? Come on, come on. Yeah! <laughs> Good job, buddy. Mm, you did it. You did it. Oh, yeah.